Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. A quick reminder to make sure that you are following me on my podcast, Sugar Mama's Fireplay, because every Monday morning, I publish a high value content podcast where I share with you various strategies, motivating, inspiring conversations and stories, and all sorts of hacks and insights for you to know when it comes to achieving your financial goals as efficiently and as effectively as possible. So that's every Monday morning so that you start the week off on a very powerful, motivated and inspired note. And of course, don't forget to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Sugar Mama TV because I create additional content to motivate and inspire you right here. All right, so for today's video, I want to talk to you about the four most important messages behind my book, Mindful Money. I have packed this book with so much information, so much so that my publisher, when I was writing this, actually called me and said, please stop writing anymore. We can't physically fit any more into this book. So on that note, I will let you know, I've got three more books up my sleeve, which I will be writing over the next year or two once I have the baby. But in the meantime, there is so much information. This is a really helpful book. And if you just read any of the reviews online, you'll see how many people have actually achieved their financial goals and actually are on top of their finances from this one book alone. It's kind of like your financial roadmap. And it's not a book that you read and then like put it away or give it away. It's the type of book you actually keep on your bedside table and come back to on a regular basis to refresh your motivation and fine tune your strategy. All right, so what are the four most important messages behind my book, Mindful Money? Well, number one, your mindset. Mindset is everything. You've got to have the right attitude when it comes to taking control of your financial future. Even if it means you're coming from a place where you've been drowning in debt or still drowning in debt. This book is about moving forward, rebuilding, rebuilding your sense of self-worth, realizing how powerful you are. So I have a couple of chapters dedicated to asking yourself what, how you feel about money so you can really fix your mindset because your mindset needs to be really fertile soil. And this book helps you turn your sand into fertile soil so that when we come along and we plant that powerful seed into your fertile soil and through Mindful Money, I show you how to give it the right amount of sunlight, give it the right amount of water, protect it from the elements so that your little seedling grows into the most amazing, magnificent oak tree or acorn tree so that it not only helps benefit the environment, provides shade and also provides habitats for animals. This is what Mindful Money is about, about mindfully building your tree of wealth. Number two, and this is probably the most important thing behind Mindful Money, and that is it's all about having a mindful money number. Unlike the FIRE strategy, which is all about building up a lump sum net worth or gross worth, Mindful Money is about building up a mindful money number. That is a magical amount of passive income, and I shouldn't say magical because it's realistic, but a passive income number that allows you to either stop work completely or cut back to say part-time work or make the changes in your life that you can afford or that you want. You know, such as paying for an annual international holiday every year or paying for an early retirement where your passive income more than covers your living expenses. This is something I'm really, really serious about because having a passive income that never runs out and in fact grows over time, exceeding inflation and more than covers your tax bills, you know, more than covering your living expenses is what gives you true and authentic financial freedom. And I have a whole range of financial strategies in here and case studies that you can copy and you know, tweak to your situation to actually realistically achieve your mindful money number. So remember, mindful money is all about building long-term growing passive income streams. And I give you a whole range of different strategies to actually achieve it. The third takeaway message from reading Mindful Money, and it's all about investing. I'm not a magician. I can't magically create overnight $100,000 a year passive income for you. There is work that is involved in creating that number. You need to be investing on a regular basis. You need to try and reinvest all of your passive income for future compounding growth opportunities, whether it be interest off a bank account, dividends from shares, rent from your investment property, whatever it may be, there are going to have to be strategies that involve investing. And yes, this does very much include looking at your 401k plan, your Roth plan, your pension account, your KiwiSaver, your superannuation account, depending on where you are in the world, because they are a very valuable component of your overall wealth and they can help you when you manage them correctly. And I explain the strategies in the book in helping you achieve your mindful money number. So yes, it does involve investing, but I'll tell you what, once you start investing and you realize how easy it is, you actually realize it's so much fun. It's actually addictive. And then the fourth takeaway message from reading Mindful Money, and that is using ETFs and listed investment companies to help achieve your financial goals and dreams. 
I don't want you getting overwhelmed and stressed, wasting precious time and energy, trying to work out what stocks or what investments you should be picking, what industries, what sectors, when, how, how much. That is not worth your time. You're better off to outsource to listed investment companies and index-based ETFs to build an immediately diversified portfolio that matches your risk profile. And in fact, I actually list, to make it so much easier for you, some of the listed investment companies that I personally have invested in that I really like, that I really value, as well as some ETFs. So you've got everything you need to know within this one book. Now, as I said, Mindful Money is a really powerful book. It's not the type of book you wanna read and then put down. It's the type of book you wanna keep on your bedside table and come back to on a regular basis to review your progress, to tweak your strategy, to become increasingly more powerful and effective to achieving your Mindful Money number. Now, I have just published a podcast on Sugar Mama's Fireplay, sharing with you how I personally set my own financial goals and dreams. I also share with you what my two key financial goals are that I am working on, and to share with you the financial strategies that Tom and I are using. And I also share with you what my personal mindful money number is. So when you're reading Mindful Money, make sure you're listening to my podcast at the same time so that you are so fine-tuned when it comes to having that breakthrough, that shift in going from strength to strength financially, all because you now have your mindful money number intact. All right, everyone, thank you so much for listening. Ciao for now.